From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Take the umbrella with you as you head out the door this morning. Greg D is on standby with your forecast. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Here are your ABC Action News headlines. A young boy goes to the hospital with heat exhaustion after his mother says he was left behind at the playground while attending a summer camp. Kelly Frazier's son passed out after being out in the heat for too long. A stranger found him at GT Bray Park in Bradenton last week. Now we reached out to the Manatee County officials and they tell us that they have already apologized for that mistake. Authorities believe that car thieves in Citrus County may be hitting up your area soon. Deputies say a man and woman are behind multiple car burglaries all throughout the county, and now they think that duo is traveling throughout the state of Florida, breaking in the cars. If you have any information, call the Citrus County Sheriff's Office. The state is hitting back this morning over the Sun Pass outage. FDOT is now saying it will not pay the vendor behind the outage until the SunPass system is fully operational. SunPass had a system-wide outage last month during scheduled maintenance, and for almost four weeks, no transactions were processed. FDOT has said they're not charging you late fees or penalties, but many drivers want the fares during that outage to be completely forgiven. Amazon's Prime Day didn't start off exactly as planned. After the 3 p.m. launch Monday, some shoppers got a message saying, uh-oh, something went wrong and a picture of a dog. Social media lit up with complaints from Amazon customers trying to snag some deals. The site seems fine now. On ABCActionNews.com, you can find a complete guide to Amazon's Prime Day and secrets on how you can score the best deals. Now here's Greg D with your forecast. Plenty more time, plenty more time to score deals, Greg. And a good day to shop indoors for sure. Maybe on your phone, your laptop, your uh, tablet. Staying in the AC as it's going to be very warm and humid. Onshore flow today is going to increase the rain chances early. Look at this by 9, 11 o'clock in Tampa. There are going to be scattered showers and downpours around, and they could continue into the early afternoon. Now, the extra cloud cover and rain may keep many of you in the upper 80s today. By late afternoon and evening, I think a lot of the strongest activity will shift toward the East Coast and I 95. You can track the storms along with us by downloading the Storm Shield app. James. All right, thanks, Greg. You can get all of your news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. Have a great day. Don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore. Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk and push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.